what I think? I think you want to know how to make the cutest little pocket spider ever for Halloween. What am I talking about? Hmm. I think it's this guy right here. Alrighty, hello and welcome to tutorial mode. This time I'm actually filming the voiceover while filming like the video part of it as well. So we're going to see how this goes, but let's start with the materials that you will need for your little spider. Of course, you will need yarn of your choosing, a hook size that goes with your yarn. I am using a four millimeter hook, scissors, a sewing needle, stuffing, safety eyes, and an optional stitch marker. Now I'm going to pull the stuff we don't need right away, which is going to be everything except for our yarn, stitch marker, and hook. Okay, now that we have what we need, we are going to start with a magic ring. In our magic ring, we are going to put six single crochets. Once you have your six single crochets, go ahead and pull that loop closed. In round two, we are going to put one increase into each of the stitches from the previous round. Okay, now that we have our 12 stitches, we are going to start round three. For round three, you will make one single crochet and then an increase. You will repeat this pattern all the way around your spider. Alrighty, for round four, we are going to make 18 single crochet stitches. Alrighty, after round four, this is what your spider should be looking like. In the next round, we are going to add his legs. To do so, you are going to start with three single crochets. Then you will chain five. You will then do four slip stitches back down your chain. Next, make a slip stitch into your starting single crochet. You will then have one leg done. We will then do the same instructions for leg two. Make a single crochet, chain five, make four slip stitches back down the chain, and make a slip stitch into the starting single crochet. You will then repeat those instructions for the other two legs on this side, leg number three and leg number four. Those instructions are one single crochet, chain five, make four slip stitches back down, and one slip stitch into the beginning single crochet. After completing those instructions, this is what your spider should look like. Next, you will make six single crochets. You will then make leg number five by chaining five. Make four slip stitches back down your chain. and make a final slip stitch into the starting single crochet. You will then repeat those leg instructions for legs six, seven, and eight. Those instructions are one single crochet, chain five, make four slip stitches back down the chain, and a slip stitch into the starting single crochet. Thank you. 
Alrighty, after that, this is what your spider should look like. To finish off this round, go ahead and make three more single crochets. After making those three single crochets, this is the point in the pattern where you will go ahead and take a break from crocheting to add in the eyes. The most that I have added at a time is six, but I'm sure that if you add eight, it would look just as cute. For this spider, I'm going to put on six safety eyes, of which go up in size. If you're going to put on multiple pairs of eyes, start with the largest ones on the front of your spider. Then work your way to the back of the spider, decreasing your eyes in size each time. In the end, this is what my eye placement on my spider looks like. Make sure that you secure each of your eyes with a safety eye backing. Now that our eyes have been attached, we are going to go ahead and go back to crocheting. For the next round, we are going to do one single crochet and a decrease all the way around our spider. At the end, this will leave us with a total of 12 stitches. When you reach your legs, make sure that you are keeping the legs on the outside of your spider's body. You will be working into the single crochets in between each of the legs, not the slip stitches that you made. For the final round of your spider, you are going to make six decreases. At the end of this round, your spider is going to look something like this. Now you can go ahead and take your scissors to cut the spider from your ball of yarn. Make sure that you leave a tail so you can sew the hole closed. Now, before you do sew your hole closed, we are going to add some stuffing to him. I'm going to go ahead and take my sewing needle, thread my yarn through it, and close up this hole. Go ahead and hide the end of your yarn tail in the spider's body. And just like that, you have a finished spider. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and learning how to make your own cute pocket spider. I hope that you have so much fun and, you know, make a cute little spider army because that's totally what I did. Of course, if you have any questions or get stuck anywhere, just let me know. I am more than willing to help you out. But with that, thanks again for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!